Uh, so what's going on guys? It's your boy Zeriax and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful and fantastic day like always. Today we have Gorilla Dance Practice. This came out two days ago. So we're checking this out and then someday this week I'm going to check out the rest of the album and y'all said y'all want it all be packaged into one video. So that's what we'll be doing for that. So we'll listen to it in the order that it is in this album. Why can't I speak? 80s Gorilla Dance Practice. Let's go ahead and hop into it. I was feeling a little bit sick when I did record my original reaction to this song as well. So today I have energy flowing through my body and I feel really good so I'm ready to get hyped and see some killer dance moves. Let's get it. We got the background dancers up in here and the choreography in this is crazy i saw like a lot of y'all were saying that, it, that, that that was the theme of the video was anarchy and just chaos and i really do like that you know i wish i could dance man i just fucking can't I know dancing gets so tiring too. It's so much just movement. And it's always, there's a lot of exaggerated movement and movement that requires flex, flexibility and all sorts of stuff. Especially when they're performing, then they gotta sing along with it. So it takes so much talent and practice. <laughs> I love the beat drop. I assume, I'm assuming that there's a mirror on our end where the camera's at, but it, they're so in sync. It's always so impressive just to watch them like move as a unit, you know? And they all move in unison. Like each movement has a reason that it's being moved. That's always really interesting to me. <laughs> Well, what I'm saying, I, I got caught up. Uh, one thing that's always cool to me is seeing K-pop artists freestyle dance. I got, I saw like a dude's like live stream clip. He apparently he like saw like uh, this training and he was just out on the streets freestyling. And freestyling is just really cool to me because it's just it's genuine. Because dance is another form of art and it's just genuine. Just it gives you like the freedom of artistic expression. So freestyling is really cool to me. And usually that shit's fire. Yeah, that's my, this rap part's my favorite. This hair is wild too. Those highlights on the side. I know that's so tiring. No, that's so tiring. I wonder if K-pop groups use like the same like background dancers. I don't think they do because I think I've like seen like people that have been like back down or background dancers for groups on certain songs. So I feel like they might have like a, a like a couple of like familiar faces that are used as background dancers. But I don't know. Does anyone know the answer to that? I'm sure it might differ from each group. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, bro, that's so cool. It's, it's like almost mesmerizing. It's so cool. Just seeing the, I don't know, it was just so much arms and legs moving. It was kind of mesmerizing. <laughs> I look how many people are just moving in unison right now. Yeah, like, look, bro, it's so insane. And what's crazy about it too is I feel like a lot of K-pop artists are perfectionists. So like, 
even like just a little mistake might make them feel like oh my god like feel like really down because they fucked up or whatever but like with this many people moving in unison a little mistake's not going to be seen but i feel like they they get they help they hold themselves to like a high standard so where they like oh like oh my goodness i missed this little movement I feel like it's in the world, but like whenever you're seeing all these people moving, someone could have made a mistake at any two minutes in this video and I would have not noticed. Cause I'm too mesmerized by everyone moving in sync, you know? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Man, they were getting hyped up, they were getting hyped up. But it, it, like I said, it's just always so cool just to see them move in unison. Everyone is moving to a certain spot for a certain reason. And just the, the idea behind that is so cool to me. It really is. tired i feel like also i swear every k-pop artist at the end of the performance has that like i don't know is it they are they i know they're genuinely tired but i feel like it's an exaggeration thing you know like it's sort of done on purpose like because it's sort of like like oh ooh, like i don't know it feels like it feels like it's a thing that they do like of course they're gonna be fucking tired no like duh but i feel like just like I always just see it like at the end of the performance, just, just like looking all hot. I feel like it's done for that reason. Maybe I'm tripping. But that was 80s Gorilla dance practice. Really cool. I like seeing dance practices because it's just cool seeing them practice their craft. It's just cool seeing all the choreography just work together. I said I love seeing that so many times throughout the reaction. So. I liked it. <laughs> With that being said, if you didn't make it to the end of this video and you did enjoy it, don't be afraid to subscribe and join the family. Uh, we've been posting every day so far for like a couple days, so no promises, but we have been posting daily. With that being said, I love you guys. Take care, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.